In this episode, I'll be teaching you how to rig with Live 2D Cubism. In order for you to understand this tutorial, you should already know how to make a decent model suitable for the program. If you don't know how to make one yet, I recommend you to watch part 1 of this series first. I'll leave a link down in the description box below. With that said, let's get on with the video. here back again with another video and guess what I'm finally doing part 2 you know I've been planning to do animation memes before I post this tutorial but you know what I'm gonna prioritize you guys first Aww. man I wish I was a priority just kidding <laughs> today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to rig with live 2d enough rambling let's get on with the video woohoo just a quick reminder, I am not a professional with Live 2D at all. I am still a novice, I am still learning, and I'm just gonna be showing you guys on what I know about the program. So, let's get on with it. I'm going to be using Live 2D Cubism Editor 4.0, which is the latest version at the same time, the free version. Yes, you heard it right, free version. So you don't have to worry about spending your money for the pro version. Yes, you're welcome. Let's start off with importing our file to Live2D. Simply drag and drop the PSD file to the program and wait for it to load. Yeah, just wait for it. Wait for the right time and there will be an opportunity for you someday. Okay, now it's loaded. Let's get started. First things first, let's add art meshes to each object in the model. To do that, select everything in the model or simply just use Ctrl and A for a shortcut. Then click on the auto button. As you can see, a dialog has popped up. Click on the downward arrow to open up the drop down menu. You can use any of the preset options but for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the standard preset. Oh, would you look at that, the model looks hideous. <laughs> Before we proceed to the next step, I'm going to be explaining the deformers we'll be using for the whole series. In Live 2D, there are two deformers, the Warp Deformer and the Rotation Deformer. The Warp Deformer is mainly used for X and Y angles. The X angle indicates the left and right movement, while the Y angle indicates the up and down movement. On the other hand, Rotation Deformers are used for rotation, self-explanatory. Since this episode is about basic rigging, we'll only use rotation deformers. Let's start with creating a deformer for the head. Select all the parts of the head, and then click on the rotation deformer button. Rename the deformer as you wish to call it. I'll be calling it Head Z. Whoops, I accidentally said Head Z instead of Angle Z. Very sorry about that, I wasn't really basing on the video. And sorry for this random commentary. Now back to the video. Then click on Create. Now you have yourself a deformer for the head. However, as you move the deformer, it's not in the right position. To fix that, hold on Control and then drag the deformer to the position where you want it to be. Now your deformer is on place. However, there is one more problem. The back hair isn't attached to the head. Just like you and your crush. You guys are not attached. That's just so sad. What we're going to do is to select the back hair and then go to the inspector palette. Then select the deformer from the deformer list. Now as you move the deformer, the back hair is now attached. Now let's create a deformer for the body. Select all the parts of the body excluding the lower area and then click on the rotation deformer button. Give it a name. Let's call it Body Z. Then click on create. If it's not in the right place, hold down control and then move the deformer to the position where you want it to be.
As you move the deformer of the body, the head doesn't follow along. Same thing what we did with the back hair. Select the deformer of the head, and then go to the inspector palette, then select the deformer of the body in the deformer list. This is the same process for the arms and legs. Let's do the left arm now. Select the whole arm and create a rotation deformer. Give it a name. I'll be calling it Arm L. Then click on Create. Again, hold on Control and move the deformer to the position where you want it to be. Now for the forearm. Make a deformer for the forearm. Do the same thing for the right arm and the legs. Now that we've set all of the deformers, it is now time to make the model move. We will be setting up the parameters at this point. Starting off with the head. Select the deformer of the head. Then click on one of the parameters. Let's use the angle Z parameter. Then click on the add three keyforms button. Each keyform indicates data on every action. Let's make the head tilt. Slide the red button to the right end of the parameter. Then take the handle of the deformer and move it. Now as you slide the red dot, you can see that your model is performing an action. Do the same thing with the other side. This is how you make movements for your model. Apply this to other deformers as well.
And that's how you do basic rigging in Life 2D. Oh, look, you've reached the end of this tutorial. Congratulations! <laughs> On the next episode, I'll be teaching you guys how to do eye blinking and hair movements. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have fun rigging! Bye!